what's the plan now for dinner? Well, now my grandmother caught a zombie. She's gonna sh show us how to make blood sausages. Perfect. And um, I have to explain her phone. Now what? That. The next leg of my Arctic journey is to the Karasjok region in Finnmark, Norway, the extreme northeastern part of the Scandinavian country. Up here, the Sami, who are the indigenous people of Norway, make up the majority of the population. They are a nomadic people and have lived as reindeer herders for thousands of years. Today, I'm headed to small Sami reindeer camp, which is only accessible by snowmobile. I'm set to meet young Mikkel, a young Sami man from the region who makes his living herding and selling reindeer meat. Reindeer herding is kind of a job, but it's more like a lifestyle. He's going to teach me the Sami way to eat this majestic animal. Hi. Hey, hey. Welcome to Raudul Sida. Raudul is our district name and Sida is herd. Who's this handsome lad that gave <laughs> me a ride in then? This is my father. Yeah. He's the person who gave me this job. What, what does it mean to you to be a reindeer herder? And why do you do it? It's a um, tradition. Mm. My father was, or is a reindeer herder. My grandfather was, and so further back in, as my ancestors, yeah. they were reindeer herders. So it's not just because they're delicious? No. That's just but an added plus. That's just a bonus. Yeah. <laughs> we have all these beautiful reindeer here. What are we going to do with them? You're going to use this. Perfect. You're going to do my work today. How many do we need? We need one at least. OK, yeah, OK. And what are we going to do with it? Just wrestle it. We're going to slaughter one. Yeah. And uh, we're going to look through the reindeer skin. So when you throw, let the left hand be a ring till it drops. OK. Oh, I had it. I had it, no? It's fun to throw, but the work starts when you catch. Yeah. Oh. Close, close. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yes. I got his face. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. What? Fucking hell. <laughs> there we go. Oh, well played. Oh, yes. Yeah, shall we go and get our reindeer, which we're going to slaughter and make our dinner from? Yeah, I've never seen one die, so. So now you get the freshest meat ever. Yeah. I'm kind of anxious about being involved with the killing of it. You eat a lot of meat, but you don't kill a lot of animals, you know. If I couldn't kill it, I'd have couldn't eat it. He's got it. Yeah. Does he know he's gonna die? I, I don't think so. Yeah, walk closer. And uh, try to hold the antler. Yeah. There we go. Whoa. Stir it. Why are you adding that snow? To cool down the blood. <laughs> the blood's being stirred, so it's not separating and coagulating, so it forms this lovely, yeah. complete, so, beautiful mixture. Like, that blood looks delicious. So what do you think about reindeer now? I mean, I always respected what you guys do up here, but it's different to see it in the flesh. We support them, they support us. That's what I was going to say. So we're going to have a feast later. Yeah. Go ahead. A bit foamy because it wisped it. Delicious blood, like. I drink that. Yeah, you can have a cup later. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of amazing to drink the blood of an animal that you've yeah, just seen die. <laughs> So what's the process here, Mikkel? We're gonna start with the legs. 
So did your dad teach you how to do this? Yeah. And his dad been, taught him? Yeah. It's gone over generations. Hook here and peel off. There we go. And just keep going. Drag. The meat is showing itself. This is going to be beautiful, beautiful hide. And you just know like that everything's going to get used. Down there. Oh, it's so warm. You still feel the life in them like. Yeah, completely. Cool. Oh God. So we're gonna take off the head now. Not for the faint of heart, this one. Wow. Wow. Shall, shall we take out the thong before we start with the rest? Touch that. No, it's too hard. It it can explode. Yeah. So this is the most critical part. Whoa! Fucking hell, man! We have to make a small hole to re release all, the gas. all the. Yeah. Whoa! Can I smell? It? Is that weird? Go ahead. It smells like shit. Yeah, it smells <coughs> a bit like shit. <laughs> Why did I think that that would be a good idea? <laughs> Fantastic. That's a liver. That is amazing. So, you want to taste? The liver, yeah. A little slice there. Wow. There we go. It's so warm. It's still almost beating. This is pretty healthy. It's super off-putting because it's warm. <laughs> I can imagine you haven't uh, eaten this raw before. I can say I've done absolutely nothing like that in my entire life. That's the heart. So. That is fucking black metal Norwegian stuff, isn't it? Like. <laughs> I actually quite enjoyed that. Thank you so much for welcoming me into the, your home here. What do you call this thing again? Well, this is an... Uh, Sammy, traditional lavu. It's like one of the most picturesque things, and your granny here has the kindest face I've ever seen. <laughs> I, I, I'm a bit overwhelmed. W what's the plan now for dinner? Well, now my grandmother, she's gonna show us how to make blood sausages. Perfect. So what's what's for dinner, granny? Uh, I don't know, man. You never touch those. <laughs> <laughs> now she's gonna start to fill up the. So it's basically, uh, like a sausage casing. Yeah. Yeah. And this is the blood that I was whisking earlier today. Yeah. That's the same blood. It's, it's not for the faint of heart, is it? Like. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's very good. Very, very nice. And this is a very traditional food in Sami this culture. This is the very traditional. Yeah. Well, my grandmother is the, the last one to know this level of uh, traditional food making. <laughs> it's so chunky. And is there a bit of salt in with the blood, or is it just yeah? The, yeah. It's uh, mixed with uh, flour, flour and uh, and salt. Yeah. Mm. Just just straight water. Make... Whoa. This uh, will take about an hour before it's done. Yeah. I've heard of um, a little traditional singing that you have in Sami culture. My mm. ma mother used to yoik a lot. Oh, yoik. That's yoik. what it's called. That's... Uh, it's not like yodeling. No, it's not yodeling. No. It's more like uh, throat singing. This yoik belongs to my mother. She passed away for 11 years ago. I'm very sorry to hear. For uh, cancer, which was terrible. Mm. And uh, the yoik goes like this. Oh, whoa, it looks insane. Pretty intimidating dinner, like. 
So we have several sausages as... Uh, yeah, this one looks amazing, man. I put the French to shame, like... So now we get to the best part. The tongue. Oh, I really the tongue. That. Yeah. Nice. Oh, that looks seriously good. Yeah, you can just sit down. Yeah. I'll okay. serve you. Oh. Sit next to me. Thank you so much for <laughs> dinner. Bon appétit. Bon appétit, indeed. Personal favorite is the mm. reindeer tongue. I really like this one. Yeah. The big boy. The uh, lago. Mm. Lago. Lago. Even I spell it. <laughs> this one is very delicious. I think much better than this one. That's for more I, advanced. Advanced, yeah. Yeah. The texture for is a bit like more chewy. Yeah. 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 A lot of fat in it as well. The yeah. whole mouth is like coated with fat from that one. Yeah, and when it's under 30 yeah. minus, we need this fat. Yeah. And this fresh. Mm. For two hours ago, we just lothed it. Yeah, exactly. I love you, Granny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good die. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a very lovely day, chilling with uh, Hugh Mickle and meeting his nan and eating stew and a lot of blood and tongue. The northern lights are pinging. It's one of the most significant experiences in my life, I'd say. It's definitely up there. With a stomach full of blood sausage and an untainable appetite for the Nordic terrain, I headed further north to see what it's like to live on the edge of the continent. I've come to Svanvik, a small town on the Russian border. Rumor has it that they grow some rather strange mushrooms around here. So I met up with Trina, a half Sami, half Finnish woman who makes a living racing and teaching people about dog sledding. Now we are on the river. Wow. The other side here is Russia. On this side? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> so. Do you think I'm ready to uh, give the dogs a go? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Yeah. yeah! So. Oh, Huglet, very cozy. Welcome to our longhouse. This place is amazing. Yeah. It looks like you're transported in time. Please, have a seat. Perfect. Yeah. Are you ready for some food? Yeah. So we are going to have a little Norwegian oh. homemade snack together. Oh, perfect. <laughs> vodka? Yeah, it sounds delicious. Yeah. I love the way you're not even messing around, like straight away vodka in. <laughs> it's not very Norwegian to drink vodka, is it? It's a Schnapps would be more your thing, yeah. or aquavit. Yeah, aquavit is yeah, more yeah, yeah. Norwegian, Norwegian. Let's go. Let's go. Mm. This is a, a Sami recipe, it's a soup. It is made it's out delicious. of mushrooms. Mm -hmm. So this is what it looks like. Yeah, boil it for five minutes, mm -hmm. take away the water, boil it again, and then I cut it in small, small pieces. That's why you just see like the small. Whoa. And I'm very sorry to make this. It looks like a ball of pubes or something. <laughs> it doesn't really smell. Oh man, I put some of my own dribble on it. I'm sorry. <laughs> you can have it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mmm. Oh my god. That is incredibly good. The texture of the mushrooms in there is fantastic as well. Mm -hmm. Really meaty. This place holds quite a lot of magic in it, a lot of mystery. Maybe it's just the dogs and the fact that I'm covered in all their, their <laughs> hairs. <laughs> or maybe it's the delicious food, and or maybe it's this ridiculous looking ingredient that I've never even seen in my entire life. It's quite magical. And even this room that we're in is lovely, yeah, like. Yeah. Maybe it's this one. You yeah. want one more? Yeah, I'll have one yeah. more for the road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cheers, Dina. Skull. Yeah, skull, two syntax. All warmed up from the vodka, I was starting to miss the harsh, icy winds of the Arctic Ocean. So I drove two hours even further north to an icy fishing village, situated on the easternmost fjord in Norway on the Bering Sea. With a mix of clean Arctic waters and frigid temperatures, Nesseby is known to produce some of the highest quality king crabs in the world. And from this northern outpost, king crabs are shipped live to luxury restaurants and hotels all over the world. One of the very best at catching them is Edgar, 
a real deal fisherman who's been hunting the Norwegian king crab for decades. Can I come on board? Come on board. Oh, yes, please. I'm really excited about today. Very beautiful day today, Agar. Uh, what exactly are we going out to get? And what exactly do we have to do to get it? Um, we are going to fish king crab and we use uh, pots. Yeah. Uh, with uh, put some bait inside the pot and then the crab crawls in. What kind of bait do we use? Uh, well, that's a secret. Oh, yeah? So every fisherman has their own secret bait? Yes. Yeah, okay. All right, all right, all right. I like that. And is this the usual spot? Where you go to grab uh, No, when I like really fish, yeah. when I go to the secret place. Okay, yeah, 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 a lot of secrecy. Is this us here now? Yes. Oh, wow, that was very quick, no? Okay, now we're just gonna grab the... Oh, there's uh, the box there. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can smell that straight away, eh? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Good Secret smell. sauce. Oh, sweet. They look great. But the good thing is uh, the size is okay. Yeah, they look good. Like, there's some nice... You see his mouth is very beautiful. They look like like full-on extraterrestrials. Like... So this is their shells getting quite soft. Yes, you can feel. Yeah. Oh, he's not happy with that. Sorry about that. Do you think, can they calm down like lobsters do if you pet them on the head? Uh, I haven't had time to try. No. <laughs> so we got our water steam in there. Yes. It's just seawater that you have. Yes. Oh, yes. And you're just stopping the cooking process now by pouring the water on. Yes. Okay. I think we're uh, going to eat. Yeah, I think so. I'm super excited. Edgar was obviously a man of few words and his secrecy was not limited to the fishing. I wasn't allowed down in his kitchen where the last bit of magic took place. Maybe it was to keep me from discovering the secret of Edgar's homemade crab sauce. You've really spoiled me with this, man. Is this everyday kind of food for you? I can't eat it everyday. <laughs> Can I tuck in? Yes. Mm. I love your little uh, secret uh, family dipping sauce thing going on here, man. Very delicious. The whole shebang, like, look how much crabs on that toast. Filthy. Mm. Okay, I think we start to go back to the harbor. Can I continue eating? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I'm talking into this. To make it a long trip back, because I want to be able to finish it. so much for a delicious day and dinner. Uh, nice even day. though a lot of things you didn't really tell me. I'm happy uh, anyway. It's good to have some secrets. Yeah, I think so. He's a secretive man, that lad, and a little bit superstitious. He won't tell me what he's superstitious about because he's quite secretive. And he won't tell me his secrets because he's quite superstitious. <laughs> In the next episode, I'll travel back to Norwegian capital Oslo to have a good time with friends and colleagues and to see what this ever-growing city has to offer. He got stabbed outside a revolver uh, a few years back. So we used like his insurance money to start this place. No way. Is it? Is what? it Brennivini? Brennivini, of course. That's I'm so it. happy because I was about to get sober. <laughs> <laughs> Needless to say, today I am feeling quite on the rough side. I'll make a black coffee. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, black like my soul. Excellent.